Yo. Uh, so today we're taking a look at the Furious Torrent Codex. Uh, so far I've only been able to get S+, but I think it's just the lack of champs. I don't have Araka, um, and I'm also missing Nyx, which is, if you've seen any of the top teams, literally every single top team in the top 100 has Nyx, or they did earlier. Um, so I think she is probably one of the most crucial. Um, if you see most teams, she is really carrying. What was that one? Nope. Yeah, every team so far has Nyx. So, kind of handicapped here. Oh, nope, never mind. A4 Nyx. <laughs> yeah. Yep, every team in the top 100 with Nyx. So, no Rocket, no Nyx. Kind of what I'm working with. Um, that being said, I do think my strategy works pretty well. Um, so, I have Lunaria, full IR build. This is just our normal build. Um, Razik, I did switch into my Hex gear. So, it is pretty strong. It's not the greatest, but it is relatively strong. Um, almost 15, or 14k attack. 370 speed, 100 over 364. Pretty solid. Um, the one thing I am missing is another Sharpshooter's Crest. I just don't have another one maxed. So I'm using his uh, exclusive. I would much rather have this, I think, for this event. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, hats it. Her normal build, her attack speed's a little low for this. Um, I definitely probably should switch this around and get her in a little bit more speed, but I wasn't too concerned, honestly, on my first run. I'll be working on this and tinkering throughout the week as well. Uh, 14K, 270 speed, yeah, it's definitely slow. 100 over 320, pretty solid. Uh, Maul, keep doing that is in his Guild War build. So we're good speed, relatively good attack. So he's at 10K, 482, 97 over 310, with some RR on him as well. Probably could make this max now. It'd just be missing that one. Um, And then he is in, oh, it's not max. It's almost maxed. I don't have enough. I'm missing. 150. Uh, Dolores. Envig. Um, I think she's around 14k. Yeah, 14k attack. Uh, 16rr, but then she's also getting another 50 from here. And then finally, my Silas. Uh, he's in his guild boss build. I haven't really tinkered. Oh, no, he's not. I did tinker one piece. I switched this piece around. Um, he's normally in a crit damage piece. Um, 13k attack, 434 speed, 100 over 360. So pretty strong build for him as well. Um, right now I'll probably just go in and show my auto. Or we can run a new one. Um, this is how I've been setting it up. I don't know if it's right. Like I said, I'm still tinkering. I just wanted to get something out right away. Um, this was a pretty good score right away. It was top 100 just 10 minutes ago, so people are still learning. Um, so I went Hatsit, Razik, and then Lunaria in the middle. And then on the other side, I went Maul on the end just for the sword reach. Silas up front. Oh, screwed up again. Uh, he still got lucky. And then honestly, I was just hitting auto because I'm really lazy when I'm running these because they're like four minutes long of keeping my attention. So it could be optimized for that as well. Um, like they're the flying shark that went into nothing. You can see, I, I didn't really focus this one. Because on these beginning waves, you get no value out of these, and really all you got to do is make sure those swords are coming down. Until the later game, I think that's the only time this these spots are really that effective. Um, like Hatsit, I don't think ever leaves from this, because she's hitting the defense down on everything right away as it comes out. So 
you could put an argument to put Lunaria over here. Um, I also ran Silas over here originally, and that didn't do nearly as well as he did over here, cause just because he gets to like basically shut down everything as soon as it comes out. Like you see right now, he's about to just go ham. His ult's going, and Dolores is going. But once we get later into the run, he really, I think that's when he starts to struggle a little bit more, and he might do better over here. But like I said, I'm still tinkering with the setups. Praying I pull a Nyx this weekend because I have multiples of her exclusives. And also, I, I need to figure something out because I'm always struggling with this sword right here. So I'm considering flopping these two. So we got them all down except this side now, which is usually never the issue. Should start going ham. Yep, here comes the swords. We did take a little bit of damage there. Okay, and then we're already into S+. Plus. Okay, I think we're about to just get wiped here. We have all the swords up. Yep. It's right there is like where I'm really missing Nyx. Um, I'm missing just a ton of AoE damage. I think that would help a lot. Also, not having the uh, Araka. Like, although she gets to get placed, she'd re like if you see here, she's really not doing much damage. She's doing virtually nothing. Um, so, honestly, Maul is the big carrier. Great, doing great up top. Um, he's getting the Dolores buff up there. Razik, very underwhelming for me at the moment, which is unfortunate because I just used a bunch of skills into him this week. Uh, Silas was really low this run as well, so I think the crit damage build I had him in earlier was honestly doing better. Um, let's switch that up real quick. Because he did 60k earlier with his... Uh, Original piece, which that puts him at like 400 crit damage, but only 11.5k attack. We can give that back to Valk before I forget and just get dominated this week in Guild War. Uh, this one. And then we'll just go into auto fight. But yeah, um, I will be looking to make some budget teams. Obviously, Maul's going to be a great budget option here. Lunaria, not really great budget so far. Um, more so, I'll be showing what I'm running on my uh, Forerunner account probably later this week. But like, if you don't have like the Silas or the Hatsit, like the Hatsit one's going to be a big drop for everyone. If you don't have that, um, might be a rough codex for you. I think we're going to see a really defined meta. That's at least how it was on Forerunner when it, this dungeon first launched. It was literally like everyone was running the top same team. It was basically this team, except Lunaria was Araka. Or if you're really lucky, you had Yovar. Um, and then instead of Maul, you had Nyx. And that was literally like the, the, the divine team for pretty much everyone. I think Yovar is going to be absolute monster for this you're not only getting like the a rocket level bonus you're also getting someone that boosts your marksman or your piercers even more and you're getting um just a platform unit because you can't even place a rocket a rock is literally just there just to, for the bonus yeah see we're up to 120 so the high crit damage definitely works better i think this is my high So it might not be so high like attack base. You might want some crit damage on your people. Um, I'll do more testing with that, but I do think that is the case though, because 
Silas just way performed better, I'm assuming. Yep, back up to 60. So the attack does not mean a lot here. But yeah, um, that's all for this one. Um, like I said, I'm going to be posting more content of this throughout the week. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any uh, things you learned doing this in the comments below or any questions. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check you in the next video.